In this video, I am going to show you how you can boost your FPS, fix stutters, and the FPS drops issue with your any low-end PC or a high-end PC in any game. So guys, welcome to my channel, and if this is your first time here, so please make sure to subscribe, turn on the bell notification, leave a like on this video. So let's go straight into this video. So guys, first of all, I'm gonna show you what is the reason behind, guys, you are getting the stutters or the FPS drops or the low FPS on your PC. So guys here is the resources monitor and here you can check it out here the standby list cleaner which is guys reserved by our windows that is around 5 gb of the space oh my god or the memory which is guys reserved by the windows we need to guys clear out this memory from the window for guys increasing the performance of our pc and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can do this step automatically so first of all you need a software which is the standby list on your computer so for downloading this software guys open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here onto this website and here you will find out into the recent port section how to fix this started the same thumbnail of this video and here is the empty standby list boost fps fix fps drops and stutter in all the game or you can simply guys search in the search bar or visit here this option which is the software section and here you will go to this article into the software tab now click here on this article scroll all the way down and here is guys button for downloading the empty standby list simply click here on this button it will take you guys directly onto the download page and you can easily download the software on your computer click start download and download the software once you download the software on your computer you need to simply drag it here on your desktop and first of all you need to right click here and go for this new option go for the folder and name this folder same as the name of the software like the empty standby list and press enter now simply drag this file into this folder open up this folder right click here on the file go into the properties and you need to go for this compatibility sections and make sure to guys set this option on to the run this as the administrator so here is the option for running this as administrator then hit apply and click ok right click here and now click on this cut button or move this folder from this location to the c drive where you install your windows so open up this pc go for your c drive paste it here into the main directory of your c drive and here is over this file now close out this file explorer and now you need to go for your windows search and search for the task scheduler so guys here is the task scheduler you need to make sure to run this as administrator and here is the interface of the software now what you need to do is you need to create a task on your task scheduler therefore the software automatically guys run in your background for clearing the standby list memory so now go for this option which is the create task and you will go to this window so first of all here you need to guys go for the change user or group then go for this advanced option click here on this find now button and from this list most important guys thing you need to select out here the system option now click on this ok button click ok again and guys now check mark on the run with highest privilege and also check mark on the hidden one and don't change this option which is the window vista simply guys set it on the default now next open up this trigger tab from this create task option click onto this new one and create a new trigger application on your computer so begin this task on a schedule and set its settings onto the one time now here is the advanced settings for this new trigger option check mark on the repeat task every and click on this drop down and you will go guys the time limit from five minute to one hour you need to go with the five minute you can guys also change it later but i will go and also suggest you to go with the five minute for the duration guys set it on to the indefinitely and once you're done now you need to click on to enable make sure guys this option is enabled click ok and now we need to go for this action guys tab and click here on this new button again and now we need to guys select out our executable file so click on this browse option go for your this pc open up the c drive and here open up this folder and select out this application or select out the path of the software in this browse option now click ok once you're done now you need to go for the journal tab and now into the name section you need to type here stand by list and once you're done now you need to guys click here on this ok button and this guys option will create it here on your uh, name task you can also check it out here if you click on this task library you can also find out uh this list cleaner which is the which you click on the s from your keyboard so here you will find out the standby list cleaner and also you can check it out here the next time this will run that is the 50 and here is the time which is uh like the five minutes 
after and right now you can also check it out the last time it's done the guys point so it is not guys run yet so now close out this window and now guys for checking out the standby memory on your computer you need to right click on your taskbar go for the task manager go for this performance option click on the open the resources window and guys open up this memory tab from here now here you can check it out here standby memory which is captured by our window this will guys automatically guys refresh or clean up by that software and because of that you will get guys more fps you will fix your fps drops and stutters issue in any game on your any low end or a high end pc build so guys i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and leave your opinion about this video in the comment section so till at the next video peace out